Quail's Knitting Nest. My name is Joy. Good morning. I'm Janet. As you can see, I've got my summer haircut. <laughs> <laughs> All ready is, for the beach. <laughs> I am. I'm ready for the hot weather, which we've had a little bit mm -hmm. so far, but it hasn't been crazy hot yet. It's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be, yes. <laughs> so I'm ready. So what are you wearing? Something light and summery, it looks like. I am. This is called the Curvy Lace Pullover. And I actually talked about it in episode 15. So I'll just talk briefly about it today. It is a pattern by E.J. Slayton, which was in an old creative knitting uh, magazine issue mm -hmm. years ago, 2005. And the yarn is 100% cotton. It is called Susan by Schaefer Yarn Company, which oh, oh, is yeah. discontinued. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what that it looks pretty. like. Is that the one that you had to shorten? No. No. Okay. I mean, I, I want to shorten it, but I can't. It, it has grown two inches. I, no, I measured I like it. it. It's two inches longer than it used to be when I first made it. So it has grown longer. And I would like to shorten it, actually, but it's done in pieces from the bottom up, and yeah. it would be quite, yeah, yeah. quite the. Uh, That's really a nice cotton. Mm -hmm. It is. Too bad it's discontinued. I Most know. cottons are not that nice. Yeah, it's very nice. That's really pretty. It's a mercerized mm -hmm. cotton. Yeah. And it still has that. I haven't washed it that many times, so it still has that sheen to it. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. That held up the best, I think, of all your summer sweaters. Mm. And what do you have on? This is gorgeous. I have an oldie book goodie. <laughs> this it, this was August 2016, Laura Eiler Mystery Knit Along. It's called a Counter Current Shawl. I like wearing it just to remember here. I'm yeah. Gonna take it off to show you all the... It's modular knitting. And... I used six a six color gradient that I had bought on webs way back in 2016. So there's six shades of my favorite color. What could be better? <laughs> Where you just keep picking up. It was fun. It was a mystery knit along, so you never know which direction you were going in. It was it was great. I just I mean I love picking up stitches. So uh -huh. the whole border is picked up. It's just all sections, modular knitting. It was, um, this is Wonderland yarn. It's fingering weight and counter current. That's beautiful. I really, I, I like, really that. like this too. Isn't this yarn nice? I like Wonderland. So, did the pattern call for explicitly six? Yes, mini six skin? color gradient. Oh. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's cool. I really like it. I do too. I made another one by her. I'll do that next time. That was modular knitting too. I like Laura Eiler's patterns. Okay, I can't put it back on. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> it's a little bit too <laughs> warm. <laughs> My shoulders. Okay. Well, I have a finished object which I don't have with me today mm -hmm. because I made it and then I gave it to my daughter already. But I will put a picture up here so that you can see what it is. It's called the Kazka sweater. And we were together in Philadelphia a few months back and we went to Loop, the yarn store there. And she picked out these yarns. So this one is called Alpaca Silk. And it is 70% alpaca, 30% mulberry silk. It is really it soft. It is. This is beautiful. Really soft. I always heard about Sandus Garn yarns. Mm. Everybody talks about them on the yeah. podcast, but I never bought any. Oh, I, this is the first time I yeah. bought some also. And then she also got, it's rowing mm. killed silk case, mm -hmm. but she was enamored with this color. It's beautiful. And there wasn't enough of either yarn for a whole sweater. So we decided to put them together, which of course everybody is doing these days, right. pairing a mohair <laughs> with another yarn. And this mm. is the swatch, what it looks like when they're knit up together. Feel that. Kind of marled looking. Feel it. Yeah, it's like a feather. It's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. So 
soft. Yes, and it's very light. Mm. Like I just love, love it. That. I just love it. So the, um, the pattern is Casca by Petlick Natalie. I hope I pronounced that correct. And uh, Amy also picked out the pattern. I curated a, a set of like 20 different patterns and sent them to her and she packed, picked out this one and I did it for her. She is very petite. And fortunately for me, this pattern comes in, it's two patterns. There's one for kids sizes and one for adult sizes. So the adult small was a little bit too big and the kid size <laughs> was just about right, except it's not fitted for an adult figure. Mm -hmm. So I mashed up the largest kid size with the smallest adult size to get uh, the one that I eventually made for her. And I used up all but this very little bit of kids' little case. I had three balls of this, and this is all I have left. And then I had wow. four skeins of this, and I only used a little bit out of the fourth skein. You That's... could do little mitts for her and trim them in this around the wrist. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be cute? <laughs> that would be cute. Yeah. Think of something to do with the... To go with it, sure, because these are her colors. She loves these colors. Do you have anything? Yes, but before that, I forgot. Oh. I'm wearing something else. Oh, but I'm gonna have. I'll, I'll show them from Lean here. In, yeah. But I'm gonna take one off. I've wanted these for quite a while, and I found them up in Knitter's Edge. We went up to Knitter's Edge. These are earrings by Katrinkles. They're laser cut wood. They're very, very, very light. And it has the a rib on it. It's a knit and pearl stitch. Knit one, pearl one rib. My one finished, well, one of my two finished objects. Another pair of socks, of course. My monthly pair of socks. So these are um, by Opal. And it's the Van Gogh, let's just put it a little bit closer to see the color. It's the Van Gogh series. This is very old stash from the yarn gallery. And it's I'll show the picture. Color. It's the Vincent Van Gogh Opal. And this is the um, Starry Nights. Every, every, it's not in English, so <laughs> I was trying to remember. So this is inspired by the Starry Nights painting. And I think they did a great job yeah. incorporating the colors. And it's just my basic sock, Joy sock, and stockinette, two by two rib on the top, top down. Nice. Size one needles. That's it. Nice. And this, I have so much, look how much I have left. Oh, yeah. It only used 65 grams, which I'm very surprised. I, I'm not sure. I usually don't have 35 grams of yarn left. Well. Uh, yeah, it's 75 superwash wool, virgin wool, and 25 polyamide. It's a little bit woolier than my usual dyed, dyed my yeah. hand, my handy dyed ones. But um, I love the design and the colors. So, they're they'll, winter socks. They'll feel warmer sure. on your feet when it's colder. And I love my sock blockers. <laughs> okay. Yay for sock blockers! And what's your next one, Joy? I made this scarf. It's called, I'm going to try and pronounce it correctly. It's a hard G and a soft G. So it's good. Good. What's a soft G? G. Good gel. Good gel. Okay. Good gel is what it's called. I, I had looked at, actually I had looked up the pronunciation on the internet and I wrote the pronunciation on my pattern page and the designer commented and said, that's not how you say it. <laughs> so she said, it's a hard G with the soft G. So it's gajel. And what, what is it? A, you know what language I think it it's Russian because oh, the it? word means, it doesn't look like um, it's a, a particular type of Russian porcelain, oh. which is usually a blue pattern on a white background. Oh, 
So she named this pattern after that. And when I first saw, when it came out and I first saw it, I just loved this pattern. Mm -hmm. it, it comes, you can make it a wrap. So like these repeats in the center, you can do as many of them as you want to make it as wide as you want. And then of course, on the ends, you can repeat it as long, as many times as you want to adjust the length of it. So I did the smallest. I mean, I suppose you could just do one repeat in the middle if you wanted it even uh, narrower, but in the pattern, her smallest version is this one with the two repeats and mine is eight inches wide. And it's something like 50 some inches long. I just love it. It's mosaic slip stitch knitting. Very easy. Mm -hmm. And of course the pattern repeats are, you know, mm -hmm. once you do one, you kind of get the, I love mosaic. The hand. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah. So, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. I used wool that I had bought last fall at the Leesport um, Fiber Fest, which is, I forget the official name of that. But anyway, it was the Fiber Fest back in Leesport, and it's 100% Coopworth wool, which I've never used before. And her yarn is, I, I call it kind of a workhorse yarn, because it's not the softest. But mm -hmm. it's right. it's a very workhorse yarn, and it's not it's splitty nice. at it's all. Really nice. It's really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Coopworth, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, Coopworth. It's so very that, nice. That. I always love mosaic. I know you do. That's just um, <laughs> and time to make something pattern. mosaic. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Get back into it. Yeah. So next, I guess, we have our oh, squares. Yeah. Our squares. Well, you do yours uh, first because okay. yours is... So my, this, this is the Knitter's Day Out once a month square afghan. And I have block eight. Yeah. Which I really like. It's reversible. Yeah, it's exactly the same on both sides. It's really a pretty stitch pattern. But it's nothing like the picture. Yeah. <laughs> We're not sure what happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> With the pattern. I ripped it out once or twice and it just kept looking. And I thought, forget it. Because I could not get it to look like the, the picture, picture that they had on Ravelry. Mm -hmm. and, and then I decided I really like this stitch pattern was reversible and I kept going and I'm, I'm very happy with it mm -hmm. and now I see Joy sent me a picture somebody else who made it and it looks like mine right. so then I felt yeah. better <laughs> but um so that's that and square nine came out but I didn't start it yet because it's cable Jim, um, Joy's gonna show you um, and I'm starting since I'm doing these in strips I'm starting my first, my corner strip for the end strip. And I was afraid that maybe the cable would pull together too much. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather put it in the middle rather than in the corner. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is wait for square 10, which should be coming out next week, right? Maybe, the end we'll of this see. month sometime. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna do square 10 and then I'm gonna do attach nine. So Joy's gonna show you nine. Yeah. And I didn't do square eight because I saw the picture and I didn't like the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and then I saw Janet's square and I'm like, oh, maybe I will do that square <laughs> after all. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see what the remaining squares look like. Anyway, here's my square nine. There's 12 total, so we're coming to the end. We are. We're getting there. So this is square nine and it's by Linda Caton. And her, like Janet said, it has a bunch of cables in it, which is... Mm -hmm. I really love it. I can't wait to do it. Kind of nice. And I, I did change it up a little bit because I was afraid with my previous square seven, which also had some cables in it, mm -hmm. it pulled in a little bit. So I mm -hmm. added extra stitches for that one. And I did the same thing for this one because the pattern has you do it on the same standard number of skip stitches as the rest of the squares but with the cables in it uh, I felt like it was going to pull it in so I added extra stitches to make make sure that it I got my 12 inch inch width so you add the stitches where on the ends or like in the end in the middle maybe 
Is that where you ended? I added okay. four stitches. So after I did my garter rows Order. at the bottom, the first row of pattern, I just evenly added four stitches across okay. the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that worked for me. It does look like a good size. It's bigger than some of your other ones. There's one that you made that's smaller, like the smallest one. But you'll yeah, be able to stretch is, it. Yeah, there is one that's a little bit narrower. Mm -hmm. But most of them are about right. And actually, mm -hmm. there's one that's a little bit too wide. So maybe I'll put that next to the narrow <laughs> the one. The narrow one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll even it out. This is what happens with blocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Squares. So, that's yeah. why I thought if I did it in strips, it might be a little bit easier. Sh well, sure. And you, well, you're using the same yarn all the way up right. as well. Right, that makes a big which difference. Which makes a too. difference. Right. I'm using various stash whatevers, and it's, right. it's an experiment. So we're, we're drinking lemon sparkle water is in here, <laughs> sparkling <laughs> water. So mine says, it's not hoarding if it's yarn. Yeah. And you just and have mine is the, the lovely sheet. Yeah. Sheep in the snow. And inside it says double E W E. Oh, right. <laughs> double U. W W. Oh, I see. So there's yeah. pairs. Mm -hmm. Pair, pair, pair. W. So cute. And I still think you gave me that, but you don't read anything. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't and remember. My husband bought me this. So. <laughs> All right, you have so where some we have acquisitions. Oh, we're into acquisitions. Okay. Well, the first thing is this lovely mm. skein of yarn. This is from Anne's Mountain Laurel. It's just Mountain Laurel Farms, mm -hmm. right? Okay. If you watched our last podcast, she made a lovely twisted stitch. It almost looks like cable hat with this brown yarn. And I couldn't leave her house without buying it. It's this. It's so soft. I think it is. It's very. It's, it's quite not that soft. real rustic, crunchy. Yeah. It's beautiful. And it's DK weight. Yep. Here's her tag. Okay. And it's this one's Shetland Sport, two hundred seventy-five yards. Net. Oh, that's natural black. Yeah, that's natural black. Oh, it is sport weight. I thought it yeah. was DK. But this. Oh, yeah. Well, it's it so has, fluffy, you could, yeah. yeah. And once you knit it, it'll be sport, yeah. It's pretty gorgeous. I'll probably make a hat out of it. I'll give it to somebody, because I don't wear too many hats, but I just love it. I can't wait to knit with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So that's my first thing from her. Well, I just have one acquisition. Uh, on this past Saturday was World Night Wide Knit in Public Day. Mm-hmm. And one of our local yarn shops had a sale, so we went over there. It's Pearls of Wisdom in Kimberton. And I acquired some yarn about, about a year ago, actually more than a year ago. I went one day and bought this same yarn, but at the time she didn't have enough in any one color for mm -hmm. a sweater, so I bought three different colors. Now I have a ton of this, I way more than I need. <laughs> but anyway, so while we were there on Saturday, I bought more. So this this is the main mm, color. I have now, I think, four skeins of this. That's a beautiful shade of green. What is, what is it called? Does it have the name of it? It's called Juniper. Juniper. That's Juniper. Pretty. So this is Patagonia by Juniper Moon. And the color is Juniper. It looks kind of dark mm -hmm. on camera but it's a real nice it's kind of like a forest green yeah pine green or something yeah. like that it was, yeah it's yeah. really pretty and then I had Ooh. another skein of this so now I have I think two of these this one is called mustard mm, that's pretty and then this is a new color I have a gray at home that I bought last year and this time, instead of getting another gray, I got this real pale green, which is called sea foam. I've never used this yarn before, but mm. I love the way it feels mm. and looks. It's called it's a 
Organic Merino, it's called. Yeah. Humanely grown in Argentina. Hmm. That's nice. This is really nice. And I don't know, did I tell you, last year when I bought it, they, it was thirteen fifty a skein. Mm -hmm. And this year, it was 15 So in a year, it's gone up $1.50. But... Then you got a discount. It was on sale because she was having a sale. So it was actually the same price as it was a year ago. Really nice. 382 yards, 100 grams. It's going to go a long oh, way. Oh, I can't wait to see the sweater yeah. you make with that. That's going to be beautiful. You know, kind of... <gasps> you know what I could see in that? Just came right into my head. Mountain mist. Oh, yeah. And the Strange Brew book. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to make mm -hmm. that sweater. I could see that. Mm -hmm. To be determined. You'll come up with something. Sarah yeah. Isle or something, probably. Yeah. I also made a purchase at um, Pearls of Wisdom. This is one of my favorite yarns. It's called, it's Barocco's Remix Light, 100% recycled fibers. And of course, it's my favorite color. Nice teal. Which they're not telling. They're just saying it's 60, number 6984, but it's beautiful teal with tweedy pieces in it. Um, it is... 432 yards to 100 grams, but it's saying that it's DK, and it's up as DK weight on a size 5, so, yeah, saying it's DK. It is 30% nylon, 27% cotton, 24% acrylic, 10% silk, and 9% linen. It's a little bit so, of everything. Remix. This will be a nice weight sweater for me. Mm. It's not itchy. So, I found a pattern that I like to use it for. It's by Jennifer Shields Toland. It just came out this week. JST Knitwear Designs. And the name of the sweater is Sea Haven. It's just a top-down yoke sweater with a, well, with a design around the yoke. And it's actually on a uh, Ravelry. Several people use this are using this Remix Light to make this. So I'm kind of anxious to get this started. Does she say in here what yarn she used for her sample? Oh, Fiber Company. Fiber Company. Yeah, 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 DK weight. Or Sadness Garn, 10 Lynn. We went to Knitter's Edge Knitter's a couple Edge. weeks ago. Did we talk about that yet? Oh, yeah, like, briefly. We did we talk about it Anne. last time, yeah. I think. They came out with, because um, Joy showed her cicada socks. Mm -hmm. Um I started, I guess I could show this now, I started a pair of just ribbed two by two. I love the way this feels. In my, yeah, it's in my whip tube here. Really nice yarn. All wound up. We both highly recommend it. Oh, it's, I love so knitting color? with it. It's like elastic. That's more of the denim color. Okay. Because then here, see. That's obviously here's, more blue. I bought five colors. Joy bought three. So this is my other color. It's like a teal. Yeah. They're only numbers. So we can't tell you. This is gray. It's gray. like a light gray. Let's see. I didn't think to bring mine. The navy. Which looks, well, I guess it navy almost looks is. black, mm -hmm. but it's yeah. navy. And this is the black. So you see? Oh, yeah. You can see a difference. If you hold them so together, the you can tell the difference. And there's the navy. So I decided for the first time, what's that? I just want to hold them all together. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the blue. different colors. Actually, that would make a decent fade too. Yes, it would. And that's funny you said that because I'm going to have leftovers because I decided that since this is more of a summery sock, mm -hmm. I'm not going to make a long cuff, mm -hmm. my six inch cuff. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to do a four inch cuff on this. So you I'll have a lot more. of leftover yarn. Yeah. And that's funny you said that because I was thinking that exactly of putting all five together, the leftovers, and do something with that. Yeah. Hmm. So that'll be. Who upcoming. needs an advent calendar when you can make, <laughs> make your our own? own. <laughs> Which we do. <laughs> anyway. So, and it's in my lovely Sage Valley bag. I'm oh, yeah. so happy with this. That's a nice bag. Mm -hmm. Balls on it. So this is almost finished, but oh how not, cute that came out! Not quite. Ah, 
This is called The Sailors by Kim Hargreaves. That is so cute. And it came out a bazillion years ago, actually 2000, in a book called The Knitter's Bible. So I made, actually this is the third time I've made this sweater. The first oh, time so I made cute. it for my daughter way back when I was first learning to knit. And it's, it's simple knit pearl patterns, so it's it's easy for a beginner to do. I have to, I have to make note of this. I really like that. The Sailor. Yep. Sailor by Kim Hargreaves. I like and, that. And um, nice little Gansey. I did the six month size because this baby is being born in August, so six months would put it in the middle of winter. And Looks this a little bit bigger baby is living in Germany, so. That's beautiful. That It'll yarn nice. looks really nice. nice. Warm sweater. I like this it. is the Plymouth mm -hmm. Merino Superwash worsted weight from Knitter's Edge. It has yeah. great stitch definition. Yes, this is a yarn I got when we went to Knitter's yeah. Edge when we got the Sakata. I got this the same Very day. Very pretty. So that is that. So it still needs to be blocked, and then I need buttons for the neck opening here. Now you. Did you do that, or is that the pattern? It's in the pattern. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. The first four sizes, so 6, 12, 1 in 2 years, I think. Um, yeah, because the neck is have, small. All have this opening in the neck. Yeah. Yeah. You need it. Yeah. So I'm really Very happy pretty. with it, and I need to get buttons for it. Hmm, I might have some. We'll have to look in my stash we'll later. <laughs> I usually have something to yeah, match that's whatever true. Joy makes. <laughs> Especially because it's blue. Yes, of course. I'm sure I have some. <laughs> oh my goodness. What do you got going Oh, I have one more. That is it. Oh my goodness. This sweater. This is the Parks and Rec Pullover by Knitting, knitting, the, knitting stash. the Stash. M Melissa. Size 2 needles. I keep saying that. Size 2 needles. <laughs> How because, small it is. Oh yeah. my goodness. But I did make progress. Oh yeah, you made I'm a at, lot of progress. Yeah, I'm at the point now where I'm going to split the front and the back because you work the back and then the front and then attach it at the shoulders and then pick up stitches and knit the sleeves down. But the difference is I'm using two strands of yarn, the mohair and the fingering, Olan and... Um, <laughs> hedgehog? Yes, hedgehog. God, you have a good memory. Hedgehog. Um, so I will only use the hedgehog fingering for the sleeves. That's what the pattern calls for. So it just has the mohair in the body. But I love the mohair. Look, you can see closer. You can see on camera yes. with the light. The, mm -hmm. You can see the texture. Yep. Because what I'm doing, I was afraid I wouldn't have enough mohair because I only have two skeins. So I'm alternating every two rows. I'm dropping the mohair and just knitting with the fingering, picking the mohair up, knitting two rows with both, and then dropping and so on. Um, and the pattern calls for just the fingering on the ribbing and the sleeves and around the neck. So, But you really, when you look at it in person, you can't really see the two row stripes no. that I'm making. Not at all. But on there you can see a little yeah. bit of texture. That's interesting. So it's... that's fine, but it all blended together. Yeah. So. That's that. I'm working away at this. <laughs> Slowly eventually, but surely. Eventually it'll be finished. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> I could show... I, I showed these last time, but I'm still working on them, so... These are socks for my husband. I did... I finished okay. the first one. So that one is done. And I'm on the cuff of the second one. So, I'm getting there. It's a slog. We're knitting socks for him with his huge feet. <laughs> he wears a size 12 shoe, which I think is on the large size for men. But Is that the last pair for this year? For him? Mm -hmm. Well, I only make him one pair a year. Oh, okay. So, I thought yes. you made a couple. <laughs> no. It seems well, like you're always knitting socks for in, him. That's on. In the past. I would make him more than one pair, but now he has a whole drawer full of socks. Okay. And they're so not wearing out, huh? No, and he doesn't really need more socks, so it's just 
because I'm always knitting socks, I may as well make him a pair. That's for sure. Yeah. You should. Especially yeah. since he wears them and appreciates he does. them. Yep. He's so knit worthy. He does. Your sweaters, your socks. Yep. Hats. Yeah. He well, Scarves. he doesn't really wear hats. Doesn't he, he wear well, hats? He wears them if he's running in the winter. Mm -hmm. Or if it's snowing. Mm -hmm. But just in and out, like to the car and back or to work or whatever, he doesn't wear a hat. Hmm. So, I mean, I have made him hats in the past, but he doesn't wear them enough for me to make him lots of hats. <laughs> and I've only ever made him one scarf, which he only wears if he's dressed up and has his overcoat on, mm -hmm. then he'll wear the scarf. The but neck. any other time, mm -hmm. he doesn't wear the scarf. Yeah, Jim, Jim not wears scarves at all, so. So every man's different, how they like to accessorize. Mm -hmm. Another acquisition yeah, from while we Pearls were of Pearls, Wisdom. She saw this oh, amazing it's book. It's so pretty. The New Rowan. It's number 71. And I'm assuming that it's the summer one because the yarns that they use are Rowan's cotton cashmere and creative linen all through it. But the um, gauge for most of the sweaters is five stitches to the inch, which is doable. I won't use the cotton cashmere or the creative linen for these sweaters. I'll use my stash yarn. But it's, it's just a beautiful book. The theme is, what does joy mean to you? So there are about, let's see, how many, a little more than a dozen designers contributing to this book. And they're all giving their their answer to that question by what they design. Oh, okay. It's just a beautiful book. Lisa Richardson, for example, says, My joy is nature. So she used nature pictures for her, um, what do they call it, the idea board or their inspiration. inspiration board. And she used corresponding colors. Um, Martin's story said, My joy is cables. <laughs> so he did cables. Arn and Carlos, there's Arn and Carlos. Our joy is pattern, and their sweaters are always beautiful. I would just love to make this one right here. It's the cover. Of course, yeah. they have the cover sweater. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, and so on. But it's it's really a beautiful book. Um, I was telling Joy, the only thing is I forget that Rowan, of course, is British. So everything's in centimeters. There are no inches in so here. Oh wait, yes there are. Here's are the inches. The centi they have the centimeters on the charts, but no inches. There are some inches. But on there. the yeah, but on the I was uh, gonna say, sketches they do have the yeah. They do have the inches. I even though Yeah. I mean Rowan is from England which uses the British But see here in the directions? This is where I saw this. It's only centimeters. Hmm. Interesting. It said back should measure so many centimeters. There's no inches. That's where I saw that. So there's some... So they do have it on the schematic. It's not in the pattern or on the charts, though. Interesting. And yes, you would think it, it being a British, a British pattern book, it would have inches and not centimeters. You know, like the reverse. I have Everyone to show you the charts. <laughs> oh, my heavens, these charts. <laughs> it's the only thing. There you go. Here's a good example of the charts. That's all the sizes. <laughs> and you have to follow the lines. And, oh, my gracious goodness. <laughs> oh. Not only is but it anyway. tiny and hard to see, but there's all the sizes are in the same in the chart. Same chart. So, yeah. You got to make sure you start and stop. <laughs> For the Arn and Carlos sweater I like isn't too bad. I could do that if I enlarged it a little. Yeah. They don't have them in sequence. Mm. They're all mixed up. Mm. You know how normally if you look at a magazine, yeah. they're in sequence in the back? They're not. These aren't. But this is a pretty, just a basic striped sweater. Yeah. I just thought it was a beautiful book. I usually don't buy Rowan, but this one really appealed to me. Mm. So we'll see. What happens with Ash? If anything. Yeah. Most of my books are just inspiration books anyway. Yeah. <laughs> they just sit on the shelf and I, I page through them occasionally. Me. And I'm like, oh, I should make one of these. 
And I don't think you have, I have one more, um, something that I'm starting, that's all. Helen Stewart came out with a new mystery knit along, her shawl. Oh. I love Helen Stewart shawls. Every time I make one of her shawls, I'm just so happy with it. So it calls for fingering weight yarn in four colors, or she said you could do solid. And I thought, I'm going to do something different this time. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing solid. Okay. So of course, look at this color. <laughs> so I'm going to use this color. This is very old stash. It is Cherry Tree Hill mm. Super Sock Select Solid Machine Washable. It's 80% merino and 20% silk. Ooh. So I think it's going to have a nice drape. Yeah. Now it's in the color is Aquamarine Super Sock Silk Solids. Um, and I looked at Ravelry yesterday. I know I'm a little late starting this because Clue 2 came out today. Okay. But I wanted to see for once I waited to see what people have posted and I love the design. Oh the good. clue one. Good. Quite a few people posted clue one and I think it's gonna be pretty. I wanted to make sure it would look good in solid, but there's two people doing it in solid so far. And it looked really pretty. Mm. That looked really pretty. <laughs> so I'm excited to start this. Yeah, it'll be fun to see how it comes out. And I just How love... long does it run? Um Hmm, that's a good question. I think it's six weeks. Okay. I think it's six weeks. Do you know what the shape is? Mm, no. I don't. It's a mystery. But thinking of the pictures I've seen, it's st it's starting at the middle and coming out almost like a crescent, it looks okay. like. Yeah. She does that quite a bit. I'm looking at the one I have in the other room there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the crescent shape. Nice. That'll be so fun I'm anxious to, see it. to get that started. And I just love doing her patterns because she does row by row instructions. Of course, you're printing out pages and pages, but row by row instructions. And she tells you how many stitches you should have and so forth. And it's just so clearly written. It's enjoyable. And you feel like you're progressing. And it because you keep moving down a row. But this feels nice. I think this will I'll make a nice shawl. Okay, it and will. that's it for me. Yeah. Well, we're done. That's all you have, too. Yep, that's all I have. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment box below. Is anyone knitting summer sweaters? We decided not to because mm -hmm. we don't really wear them. But are you? What are you going to knit up for yourself this summer? Either to wear this summer or maybe next summer. Because <laughs> there are tons of beautiful summer sweater there patterns. Are. There really are. Yeah. yeah. It's just the yarns. You have to get the right yarn. Mm. Yeah. Like so let that. us know. Are you making a summer sweater? And if so, what is it? We'd like to know. Yeah. And what kind? What yarn are you using? That too, right? That makes right. A, a big That's difference. Exactly. That's the important thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So subscribe if you are if you aren't subscribed. We're up to 145. 144. 144. Okay. Yep. This as of 45 this morning. after today. We'll Who knows? <laughs> Happy Fourth of July. Yes. Enjoy the holiday and, and whatever Juneteenth. vacations you're on. Juneteenth is the Sunday. Yep. Father's Day, too. Oh right. Happy Father's Day. Yep. All right, everybody, take care, keep on knitting, stay cool, put your air conditioner on and knit. <laughs> Bye. Bye.